Number one, Indianapolis, thank you for trading us Cody Parkey. He just won a game in your house on Monday Night Football. Number two, thank you Cleveland for trading Trent Richardson there. Because Trent Richardson getting traded to the Colts led to a turnover, a fumble, that completely changed the tide of this game that led to an Eagles touchdown. And number three, thank you, thank you, thank you to New Orleans for letting Darren Sproles walk out and bring his talents to South Philly. Because my God, did those Eagles referee fucking zent in Indianapolis. Let's address the big elephant in the room, though. The no call on the, um, the knock up, knockdown of Hilton and the called horse collar tackle. Um, I can tell you right off the bat, uh, we here in Philly know that horse collar bullshit because we had the same thing. Um, oh God, I think it was Cox grabbed someone from behind on Jacksonville last week. Grabbed him nothing by the, but by the jersey and gets called for a horse collar tackle. Complete bullshit. We understand what that is. But you know what? Everyone's going to be harping on this saying, yeah, the refs won that game. The refs gave the Eagles that final opportunity. No, 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 no. Let's look at the whole fucking game here for a second. Because there's one reason why that game was so competitive to the end. It was the fact that the Eagles beat themselves for damn near three fucking quarters. Offsides on third down, offsides on third down, offsides on third down. Riley Cooper in the end zone, hits the ball in his hands. Oh, he drops it. So many blown opportunities, missed field goal, you name it, everything. That score shouldn't even be anywhere near close by the time the fourth quarter rolled around. But it was because, frankly, the Eagles were beating themselves. Sure as fuck wasn't luck through the first three quarters because he was putting up, what, like 80-some yards in the first three quarters? Completed half his passes? The Eagles were so summarily beating themselves that it wasn't even funny. I was like, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that the score is as close as it is. And a side note, thank you for everyone that came out to the live show tonight. That was a lot of fun. You guys got to see me age 30 years. And I'll leave a link in the video description for the live show if you want to watch back the pain and suffering to the utter glee at the end. <sighs> Darren fucking Sproles. Uh, is there any decision for me to go out and buy this guy's jersey? Holy fucking shit! He should be arrested for what he did tonight. I said that even during the live show. It, it, should be, it should be felony assault for what he was doing. Just unreal. Just unfucking real Even using him in the red zone to get a touchdown. Tiny little guy like that. A guy that Andy Reid would be like, no, we can't give the ball to Westbrook in the, in the red zone because he's too small to get in. <sighs> Props to the fucking Eagles. And again... If you want to say the refs won the game for the Eagles, go ahead Go ahead and not understand football and say that. That's fine. But this was a hard-fought game. This was the shootout. And frankly, if you want to piss and moan about the refs winning the game, uh, you shouldn't ever let the refs be in a situation where they can win the quote-unquote game. Which I don't frankly think they did. Again, I think the Eagles beating themselves were the one main reason why that was even competitive in the fourth quarter. But it's all said and done. The Eagles are 2-0. Indianapolis is 0-2. There's going to be a lot of sore losers coming out of this game. And there's going to be a lot of people in Philly that are, are happy. Because this was a test. And frankly, we won. And that's all there is to it. I know. You can harp on the negatives and the no call and the missed call and everything like that. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to take this and savor it. Because this game could have gotten away could have been just a fucking slaughter with all the fucking opportunities the Eagles were given to Indianapolis. All the sloppy play. And that's the thing. I don't come out of this game fully unconcerned because that jumping off sides on third and four and third and fives, the fact that that happened three fucking times in this game, that is un-fucking-ceptable. I don't care if this is a win and I'm supposed to just be like, oh, they won. A win is a win. That's all that matters. We got a, we got a notch in the win column. No, no, no. And even if the Eagles lost this game, I wouldn't really be panicking because stuff like getting your D-line 
to not jump off sides on a third and five and third and four are, are just all correctable things. Cody Parkey missing, uh, it was like a 38, 48 yard field goal. I forget exactly what it was, the one that he missed. You know, that's something that could be just corrected with practice. <sighs> just what a fucking game. What a fucking entertaining game. Win or loss, I would have said that. And again, I know a lot of people are going to be bitter about this, but you had the quote-unquote best comeback quarterback get the ball bet left with th three minutes on the clock, more enough time, and two timeouts. And he, what did he do? Three and out. Punt. Never forget that. You had all the opportunity in the world there with the best quote-unquote for fourth quarter comeback quarterback at the helm. Three and out punt with three minutes left and two timeouts for Indianapolis. So cry me a fucking river, Indy, because I know there's going to be a lot of bitterness and a lot of crying over what happened. But at the end of the day, the wins and losses don't lie. The Eagles won this game. Indianapolis lost. And I don't care, fluke calls or not, the right fucking team won this game. That is all. Of course it's not all. Fuck the Dallas Cowboys. Ah! <laughs> Ah, they won, though. Against the Titans, which... Fraud. Have a good day, guys.